All right, for question number two, I really want to go through this. All right, let's see uh, if you have done this. So uh, to get rid of square root, you will uh, go ahead and square both sides. Okay, so uh, you get this. And if you uh, stop right here and say x is equal to four, then you are very wrong. You know why? Well, yeah, it does, it does not produce a true statement. You put the four back in there, square root of four is two. Two is equal to negative two. That's a nonsense. Now, this is what happens when you have two procedural and you are not thinking. Think about this. You have square root of x equals to negative two. What kind of x value could produce such a statement? Nothing. Because if you want to keep things real, the smallest possible the smallest possible number for x will be zero, and square root of any number must be at least zero or above. There is no way that square root of x is equal to negative two. So if you can spot it out, you can just write down no solution straight away. But if you say I didn't realize it, that's okay. You find your x value. Just put it back and check. Make sure that you understand you have two jobs. You find out the x value and to check the statement being true or not. Okay.